Hello everybody, ready for another adventure. It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with Adventuring Through Salem. I finally found a name for this this daily feature that I'm doing, the four videos in. I never think of a title up until I release it. Anyway, we're on part four. It's time to fight. Previous video, we went inside the magic TV box. And now we're actually going to fight. So let's fight. Um, we'll bring... Yes. Um, what does that mean? Power down. Okay, that means I should bring one of these. What, really? Well, let me first... I don't know what any of the mechanics are for this, by the way. So, you're seeing my genuine reaction. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's not going to be the same if, um, fuck. And I was like, I don't know. Fuck. Power down, really? Okay. Let me turn off the filter. Really? Oh, because I can... That's right, only spellcasters get um, the bonus in this one. So let me see. Who do I want to have more bond? Well, first of all, I should not have... Uh, just to make things easier, I'm going to put Waver up front. He really doesn't need it. Let's see who needs it in the back. Ha! Needs it in the back. Mm, you know what? I'll put my boy Geronimo. Put you there, too. In the front. Actually, you know what? No. The good Medea. Okay. Go up here. Let's see. Who's a good assassin we can put up here that will carry this entire team? There you go, Jack. And let's put some good old stuff on you. That's your cape. For Jack, we'll put on. I think I have Dangerous Beast. Yes, I do. Dangerous Beast for you. For you, I hope you never see the light of battle, but if you do. Um, let's see. Hmm. She kind of doesn't need, um, quick MP boost. Actually, yes. If you're dead, then chances are they need to be immediately healed up. So I'll give that to you, even though you have a thing that increases your whatever. Um, I don't need Mystic Code ones. I need... Where's my Chaldea lunch? Kaldea. Kaldea. Kaldea, Kaldea. Now, what do you get? Where is my... She should be up front. It's the... There she is. Okay. Let's do it. And sh what should I be wearing? Oh, that's a good question. What should I wear? What should I wear? Um, no. Eh. Meh. Eh. Yeah. I look like someone who belongs in Salem. Let's do it. A not before dawn. I have no idea how much reading I'm about to do before I fight anything now that I think about it. Does this mean we've made it inside? It looks like we're in the forest outside of Salem. Sometime before daybreak. I mean, it is what we're trying to we're trying for, but it's so dark even her night. Is everyone alright? Uh, hmm. I'm still getting my bearings here. Sure doesn't feel too hospitable, though. I'll tell you that much. I don't remember your voice, Robin Hood. I figured it'd be pitch black inside the mist, but it's actually a lot brighter than I thought. I'm actually doing um the end villain of Persona 4. I'm not going to say who it is, but his voice after it's revealed that he's the killer. Uh, if you know who it is, you know. I'm impressed, Robin. I should have known you'd be a great vision. I can barely see a thing. Do you think you could take guard duty? Ah, <sighs> sure, you got it. I'll check our watches against the stars later to make sure we're all synced up, too. Well, that didn't take long. I've already got eyes on someone suspicious. <sighs> Looks like a guy, but that's a witch if I ever saw one. Just look at his beady little evil eyes. Are you talking about me? <laughs> the French, the French voice has also been lost. That is rich. If I were you, I'd have no mistake before a bandit and shoot you. And shoot me. Stop that, you two. You should at least try to act like performers. What if someone overheard you? That's my pretend girl voice. Ah, good point. 
what the, whoa she really is in the back there she's kind of she kind of looks like um you know when you play a modern video game they tell you adjust the brightness level for your tv that's what <laughs> neza currently looks like damn damn you scared me oh i know you you're crown prince neza one of the newbies ah you've been standing there so still i mistook you for a wax doll Dolls lack capacity for thought. You show no sign of thought. Does that mean you are a doll? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. That's harsh. Guess I deserve that. Sorry, and just forget I said anything. Is everyone here, Mesh? Just a moment, Senpai. Slowly but surely, my eyes are starting to adjust to the dark. Over there, is that? Jim Neidhart? No. No one knows who Jim Neidhart is but me. Leave a like if you know who Jim Neidhart is. Medea, is, is it you, you right? Is it you right? Can you come closer, please? We need to stick together right now. <gasps> I know. Also, in the previous episode, it was revealed this Medea is not our Medea. How did you sound, Medea? Uh, okay, now nah, that's how you sound. Ray shifting. Whoever thought it was a good idea to combine magecraft and science. I don't think I'll ever get used to this feeling. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's all seven of us, including Senpai. Everyone, please make sure you have all your. I was about to say your thighs. Bring them thighs over here. Um, your things, and we'll be on our way. Okay, let's go to find the village. Like how I said, we're gonna fight this episode, and I forgot completely that we have to talk before we fight. Man, I can't believe we're all stuck walking. You think Da Vinci could have planned something a little more convenient? Besides, if we have a covered wagon to ride in, something, something, gotta paint a wagon. It'd go a long ways towards helping the locals buy what we're selling. You really do not complain, eh, don't you? We were able to bring up bare minimum of equipment we need. I did not know Sansa would be a main character when I chose this voice. We'll just have to make do with what we got. That's always how it is when you ray shift. If we need anything else, then we procure it on site. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're traveling performers, so we don't have a whole lot to our names. Guess I should be honored that the Bard himself came up with a little bit of theater. Come to think of it, we had to decide on a name for our merry band. Any ideas, Master? I was wondering about that, too. We should... Oh, God, I can't do this. We should figure out that before we run into anyone. Okay, let's go with Wokey Company. <laughs> the Wokey Company, huh? That's great. What's well, so funny? It's not all that bad. You really don't have any manners, do you? Well, I'm sorry. Is that a little too witty for you? I didn't know great scholars were so hard at it. I gotta say, though, don't you think that it's not all that bad as kind of cond condensing as praise goes? It didn't mean it like that. But now that you mention it, don't worry, I don't mind. I know what you mean. Don't worry, I don't mind. Thank you, Ringmaster. You're very kind. Um, senpai, I can't help but notice that Robin and Sansa are always at each other's throats. Well, one's a post boy for reverence. One of them is basically Mr. Reverence. There we go. Eh, whatever. I know we're prepared for it, but it's not like we're sure gonna put on a play. I just as soon cross the bridge if I don't have to. Don't worry, I can always entertain with my dancing. Besides, we all have two beautiful stars right here, right? Hmm? Me? I know that Nessa is an important character in many Chinese operas like Journey to the West, but... You're not also talking about me, are you? I sure am. If I have to, I'll even bring Master up on stage. I can hear the sweet sounds of applause now. Um, I can hear it. Senpai? Is that your wish, Master? I shall do my best. I believe the expression is knock them dead. Da 
that doesn't actually... <laughs> Damn it, Sanson. Doesn't actually mean kill him. It's all pretend, got it? So don't go shooting at us or the audience. Oh, there's one last thing I want to make sure of. I get it, we're going to try and explain away our mo outfits as being performers costume, but... Isn't it going to be a problem that we've got some obviously Asian people? Wow. Fucking Robin Hood over here. Obviously Asian people here with us. I think we should be okay there. What the hell does obviously Asian mean? I was concerned about how Senpai would be received here, so I checked our historical records. The late 17th century was also the tail end of the age of exploration. At the time, most of the interest in the colonization had moved to the New World. But Europe had already a strong connection to Asia, thanks to the East India Com Company. They regularly imported spices from Southeast Asia, textiles from India, and tea and cer ceramics from China. So since Salem was a British colony, we would here go be a thriving port town with lots of trade. The people here may not exactly see Asians every day, obvious Asians, but also they shouldn't be unusual that it would make them distrust us. Huh, that's so. Figures that tea would be one of the great British Empire's three base desires. Be that as it may, we should still prepare ourselves to be treated with prejudice. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot this. There we go. That's gonna be good and handy for later. Indeed, what's more? We do not know for sure the culture here in the same as the 17th century of Salem for our history or not. By the way, Wookie, is there a way for you to contact Caldea here? Huh? You mean our communications device? Didn't Da Vinci explain all this to you, to us herself, Medea? I was present as an assistant myself, but I was preoccupied with making sure Senpai did not off. Yes, of course. I just wanted to review the information, given how important it is. Can't I make this any more obvious? Uh, what was the deal with that again? There, you see? Oh, senpai. I have a special device for that purpose, though it will take time to set up. So we won't be able to report our safe arrival back to Caldea until it's done. Can, any can anyone at all use that device? No, only senpai. Ordinarily, this area wouldn't permit any kind of magical communication at all. But I was told we can get around that by linking the key mechanism to senpai's command spells. Since Senpai has a strong connection to all servants still in Caldea. However, this method makes us it makes use of the back door. Aw oh, yeah. Finally. Uh, a byproduct that's sort of that happens when Shepa X up. So I believe it'll only be used if there's a particular ray shift. Oh, excuse me, there's something in my eye. All this talk at the back door has got me watery. That said, it's not as though we're pressed for time. The important thing is our ray shift here was successful. I see. That's really thought this through. Is there something important you need to contact Caldea about? No, I was just curious. Hold it. I see the light up ahead. It's a campfire. <gasps> oh, does that mean we're already at the center of Salem? I doubt it. If this is the case, we'd be seeing fields long before we see any hint of houses. There's a fair few people I can hear chattering against themselves. We gotta keep it out of sight and move in for a closer look. Oh boy, we're gonna do it. Do you all have your white ash branches? These are your magic wands. Now it's time to rap on the door. Tap it three times against the earth, against the invisible door. Red tat tat, red tat tat, red tat tap. This door leads to the world beyond, and once it's open. A spirit will appear and gift us with for prophecy. What sort of prophecy, Abby? It will tell you things about the future, your desire, the boy, your dreams, and also glimpses of a far, far away land that's nothing like our own. A spirit will whisper what you must do to make your dreams come true. I want a dress that's even whiter than snow. <laughs> uh, something that's sure to catch his eye. I'm girl. Hello. I want to be a brunette. 
with hair dark as rather raven feathers. I want to know what's going to marry one day. Eek. Okay, then everyone, make your wish as you throw your wands into the fire. Shall we sing to Tuba's magic spell too? Yes, let's. Ugh, these girls. Oh, we're already into the... <sighs> okay, what the hell is all that? Look, they're the girls from the village, but they're all acting, you know, crazy. Oh, look, <laughs> look at how much fun they're having dancing. I wish I could join them. But why aren't the girls that young doing this late at night? Could it be a trap or some sort of magicraft ritual? Do you sense any magical energy, Medea? No, but... Oh, this is bad. Very bad. What is? If anything, the opposite. I sense nothing since we came here. Our magecraft has been severely weakened. Here, let me prove it. Robin, Sanson, uh, Dancing Girl, can you change your spirit forms? What is this? Not come. What's going on here? Oh no, are you no longer servants? Don't tell me you've been in incarcer incarnated? No, that's not, no, that's not what this is. It feels more like I've been crammed into a temporary human body than anything. I thought the spirit trunk conversion felt a little weird even after the ray shift. Man, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Speaking of pain in the ass, find out who goes there in the next episode. I'm sorry, I literally tried to make sure that was fighting, but we couldn't have it. Remember, if you're liking it so far, leave a like. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.